Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'll be discussing briefly my thoughts on the E3 Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain Red Band Director's Cut trailer. Now, this is something I actually meant to talk about going back a month and a half ago when it hit the internet, and uh, I just, you know, completely forgot about it. I don't even know how I forgot about it. Uh, but essentially, a comment from a viewer, you know, reminded me about this sucker, went back, looked at it again, and I had my eyeballs melt all over again, you know? I mean, it's just absolutely epic and fantastic looking. It seems to me like it's going to be the pinnacle of Hideo Kojima's efforts in the Metal Gear Solid franchise. I know when Rising came out, uh, it was such a departure from the norm that a lot of people were kind of like, you know, iffy on it. And uh, I never got to play it because I don't have a working PS3 at the moment, but it did still look like something I could get into, even though it wasn't quite Metal Gear Solid like we know. Um, this game looks like it's going back into it, and it's got a Fox engine, you know, powering it essentially. Um, I mean, this sucker just looks crisp and amazing. Now, because this is a Red Band trailer, there's a lot of graphic stuff as far as torture sequences and, you know, I mean, somebody's got their gut ripped open, they're trying to get a device out of their body and stuff like that, so it's not for the squeamish or uh, the faint of heart, basically. There's a character, a new female kick-ass chick called Quiet, who's actually the first one being electrocuted in this trailer, and then you see her packing a gun later, probably looking for revenge of a, of a sort. But one of the biggest interesting things is the departure in the voice casting. Of course, David Hayter will not be reprising. Instead, Kiefer Sutherland will be voicing this new incarnation of the big boss, Snake. Once formerly Naked Snake, he is now known as Punished Snake, um, which is interesting because, as per some of the previous trailers, we do see him in distress. Um, you know, and a lot of this trailer, once you get past the torture, you know, sort of cinemas and cinematography, that kind of thing, it actually goes into more gameplay aspects where essentially you're trying to rescue Miller you know uh, for people who are familiar with the franchise you know who basically Miller was uh, very significantly an interesting sort of turning point in the first Metal Gear Solid game you find out stuff about Miller Master Miller to Solid Snake and um, you know basically it's that mission there's a lot of riding on horses and using the devices around you, the horses themselves, jumping on the back of trucks, going into this compound to find Miller and save him and sneak him out again, the desert terrain, the real-time sort of passage of time and the weather and everything, it just looks crisp and fantastic. And, I mean, you know, you have this great, powerful, vocalizing musical track that's going over all of this scenery you're seeing. You have Ocelot basically schooling, you know, Snake, let's build Outer Heaven, go get Miller and we're going to do it. And it's going to be that chapter, you know, that sort of bridging chapter between what, you know, came in MGS3 and uh, the subsequent games and building up to that future where Solid Snake thinks he's got to go after Big Boss, the big villain, you know. It just absolutely looks incredible. Um, one of the interesting things is I, I like that we're seeing amongst the characters. We have an Emmerich coming back. Uh, of course, I think this is probably like the father of Hal Emmerich, uh, a.k.a. Otacon, maybe, or grandfather. And he looks just like him. I would love to see Christopher Randolph back, you know, voicing that character, but who knows. Um, and, of course, you have this villain character. I'm assuming he's a villain called Skullface, um, which... You know, kind of just, I, I don't know what the story is there. I know Psycho Mantis also plays a role. Is he going to be good? Is he going to be bad? He looks younger in previous trailers. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot going on with this sucker. It just looks packed to the rafters. It's an open world environment. And you're, you know, you're stealing vehicles as necessary. You're avoiding guards as necessary. That stealth espionage action is just ramped to like 11. And I can't wait to see this sucker. I can only hope, fingers crossed, that I'll actually get to play it someday um, on whatever system it'll be, probably PS4. And, uh, man, I just can't wait to see what happens when this comes out. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on Metal Gear Solid V, the E3 Director's Cut Red Band trailer. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of it if you've seen it. And otherwise, that'll be it for me. So, I'll catch you later. Peace.